Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Davies, Colorado Rainsman. I am here today uh, about two weeks in, just a little hair over two weeks in with Mr. DeRossi, our beautiful Frisian. Um, I'm going to have him for several months, and uh, boy, what a difference uh, a few couple weeks of good work does. I've been ground working this horse, ground pinning him, um, started ground driving him with a sur single and long lines with a snaffle bit. He had had a snaffle bit in his mouth during his in-hand work um, at his curing, and uh, once again, this horse is a grand champion in hand as a four-year-old. Um, he's had extremely limited riding. Um, don't hold me to it, but from what I understand, he's only been kind of sat on and maybe walked around. So he really hasn't had anyone ride him and start teaching him things. So I'm going to work on that today. Um, as you see, I've already got my saddle on him. I went ahead and saddled him up during grooming. He could care less. Now this is the first time this horse has probably had a western saddle on him. Um, I will be riding this horse at times with a, uh, with a uh, dressage saddle. But today I've got this nice uh, wide gullet uh, western saddle on. And uh, I want to see how he's going to do. First I'm going to uh, put him through some warm up here. I'm going to round pin him. I'm going to uh, do some ground work with him. And then I'll get to riding and just see how he comes along. I've got a, a head stall set up with a snaffle and a Makati rein and we're going to just see where he goes. So I'm going to tighten up my cinch a little bit here. Make this, sure this is seated. This horse is not a spooky horse, I tell you. He just comes along so well. He's not, not a big spook horse. I can work this flag, really doesn't bother him. He will move off of it, which is very good. As you see, he's very nudgy. He wants to be right there with you all the time. So I'm gonna ask him to back out of my space. Now this is, this is getting better. I'm gonna have to get big right here. Now he's going, do I really have to? I'm going to say, yes, you have to. Get out of my space. Good boy. I'm going to let him think about where he's supposed to be. Good boy. See that response right there? Now, as soon as I turn my head, he wanted to come in, so immediately I want to back him up. And if I have to get big, I will. This is a big horse, and his tendency is once he gets his... Uh, head up above you, he's kind of like Isabella. She gets her head up and forgets you're there. Alright, so again, I'm going to back him up a little bit. I'm going to direct off here. I'm going to close this door and ask him to do that. So, now that was beautiful. Now I want to shape him up in my circle again. I've been working on balancing this horse up in a circle. So, go to my little hand technique here where I drape that rope over my thumb and I use my fingers like I will on my rein that I can, if he puts his nose out, I can close my hand and drive that hip and you'll start seeing him shape up in a nice curve right there. Very nice. Very nice. Now you go back to my first session with this horse, you see he was really fighting to put his head out. Picking up his shoulder nice. I can raise that shoulder a little bit if I need to. And I'll drive him right there. And then I'll ask him one thing with him. Transitions down. So I'm going to ask him to transition down right here. Very good. I said, please slow down. I was really having to work at that before. I want to keep him balanced there. Good pull. Now I'm going to change my hand here, pick up that eye, and step towards that rear end and direct. He's got some beautiful movement to him. I'm shaping this horse up. Constantly being aware of where my body language is telling him to be. Drive that hip, 
drive that hip, pick him up with my body language, pass him to the front. Good boy. This horse loves to get in that beautiful Frisian trot. Sometimes it's, it's slowing him down, that's the issue. So I'm going to ask him right here. Now you see, it took two or three steps, but man, that's a lot better than me having to disengage him all the time and send him the other way. Now, I want to feed him out a little bit and see if I can get a little bit of a canter on this 12-foot lead or 14-foot lead if I'm, or this is a 12-footer. If, if he can't, I'll just round pin him at the canter. Now I'm going to pick him up a little bit, my energy, and pick him up. That was a nice roll up. Bring him down. Boy, I can't argue with that. Cannot argue with that at all. Right there, I'll just squeeze my finger and bring his nose to me. Bring him down to a walk. Ah, you know, I may not know much, but every now and then I get something right. And he's coming along with what I do know. bit this way. I'm going to ask him to pick up a canter this way. Now this is a more difficult side. This right side is not quite as soft, but we've been working on it, so if I can motivate him up and just get him to pick up a nice canter in the correct lead, just like that, without pulling too hard, beautiful, and relax. Now that's pretty daggone good compared to what I had the first few days. First couple of days, he really want to pull and this big old horse. If I can hold that lead rope with two fingers in it, okay, I'm making some progress. Good boy. I'm shaping him up here. I want to look at that shoulder and raise him a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna ask him to walk right here. I want to slow my intentions down. Maybe my rain of hair. Just slow my intentions down. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. I've got a whole good boy club out there now. People tell me they want to yell good boy at their computer while they watch, watch these guys do well. They want to yell good boy. Well, yeah. that's good. Praising your horse, you're getting something good. There we go. Now I'm going to change my stick. Walk that rear end around. Just disengage him and move that shoulder through. Let's just bring him right here. Now one thing with this horse, he likes to take off in the trot all the time. And I want him just walking through. And then I'll move that rear end, and I'm going to work him back and forth between me and this. I didn't tell him to do that. See, I don't want him to just trot through all the time. He gets to trot when I ask him to. This side, the right side, is actually pretty good. I'll back him up there. And just look where I want him to go. Close this door. Put a little pressure right here. Just ask him to walk through. There we go. Good boy. Just, I don't want to jerk that head around. See too many videos and too many people where they're really hammering that head. I've got him now to where my middle finger on that lead rope is enough of a, of a disengagement and looking at that hip. My eyes are my leg. If I'm riding him and I look at that hip, my leg tells him to disengage that hind end. I don't want it to be a wrestling match on the ground or up in the saddle. Who's a good boy? Now, I'm going to see if I can get, you know what, he's pretty snug. I don't even need to snug that up anymore. 
Now there's just a few exercises that I'm going to run through here real quick to make sure I've got what I need. So I'll bring it back out here. I'm going to ask him to disengage his hind end. So I'm going to hold up that head, make sure he doesn't push on me. I'm going to raise my energy right here, get this hind end to step under while his front end is walking. Oh, that's just nice. That's just nice. Let's lower my arm and see if I can bring that front end through. Well, he's not quite sure. I'm going to help him right there. Help him and push that front end around in a turn. Oh, good boy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan starts coming together. He's starting to find his feet. As big as these feet are, this guy didn't know where his feet were the first few days. He'd stumble all over and step on himself, and he's starting to get it. The ground driving's really helping. This groundwork's really helping. Good boy, I gotta fix up my back cinch here this one notch. This is a young man. I'm surprised you didn't protest on me. I'm gonna be able to bring that back cinch up one notch on the other side. Yeah. I'm going to ask him to move this way. Raise my energy. Put a little pressure right here. Move that hip. Move that hip. Move that hip. Very good. Now I want to extend my circle out. Bring that head through. I'm offering that direction. Offering that direction. I can help him right here. There we go. Now I'll push him around. Push him around. Push him around. He tries to get his head above me on this side. Push him around. There's one step. There's one step. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. One and two and three. There's a sexy turnaround. I like that. Good boy. So this left side's a little sticky. Let me bring him out here and try that one more time. Now I'm actually doing a more difficult move with him than he's probably prepared to do, but like I say, I like, I like pushing the limits once in a while. But the first part's pretty good, right there. Look at that step under, step under, step under. Now if I get a little momentum to it, and then ask him to come around here, and I'm saying, let's go, I'll shorten up my lead and say, let's go, let's go, help me, and then bring him around. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Get your big old head up around there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. See, I had to help him with my flag. Good boy. So I want to see if I got this horse real quick. You'll see if he'll follow me. I put a lot of pressure on this guy. You'd think he'd want to run away. He's going up. Oh. I left you. Come on. Oh, there I got him again. Good boy. What a nice guy. Really like this guy. Now, folks, if any of you out there watching have ever wanted a Frisian, this is a grand champion. He will be for sale after I finish my work with him. He is going to be a soft, supple, beautiful riding in the arena and on the trail. He's going to be well rounded with with uh, obstacles and desensitizing. He's also going to be a very fair price. So if anyone out there in YouTube and Facebook land ever wanted a really high quality Frisian gelding that's he's coming five, this is the guy. So sell your car, sell your babies. And I think it's very important these horses know where their feet are. I'm going to ask him to come right over here to the rail. Stop. And I'm going to push his eye right here, raise my energy, and get one, and two, and three, and beautiful. I like that. Good boy. Good boy. Now that's the kind of stuff I just love. He saw, he quit pushing on me when I was asking the first day or two, he'd kind of muscle in a shoulder. Brace up. None of that's happening today. So 
So I'm going to turn him loose to a little free round pitting right now. going to drop this altar right here in the middle. I'm going to back him up. Direct him. See, I push his eye. I don't put my hand out point in the direction. Put your hand out in front of him. You just block that direction. Now I'm going to push at him. Now I've got a really nice open area for him in the round pit. And if he wants to buckle that saddle, Oh well, I'm going to get my energy up here and move that shoulder over. He's kind of saying, no, I don't want it. Then he gave to me. Let's ask him the cannon. Good boy. See, I was really having to push him hard the first day or two to get cannon on a circle. Now that's super nice. Exhale, bring him down to a trot. He read my mind there. I said, trot, he trotted. Now, think what? I have to find the muscle in my body that's not relaxed. He just read my mind and felt me. He came in on me. I don't want him coming in. I want him to think, walk. There he goes. Now he found it. Now he found it. Well, I'm going to say, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Back off. Good boy. Push him right there. Now I'm going to pull his eye. Look at his butt. And back away from him right there. Turn sideways. Ugh. Boy, it's getting warm out here in Colorado now. Good boy. You know, I'd like him to walk over to me. Take your time. Who cares how long it takes? If he gets stuck, I have another doorway to go through. He's just going, God, I'm not getting petted over here. So let me help him. I'm going to come in really relaxed. I'm going to let him smell my nose here. And then I'm going to walk over here. He didn't get the picture. I'm going to let him smell my hand. I'm going to rub his face. And then I'm going to turn my shoulder and let's see if I can get him to step off. There we got the picture. Who's a big baby? Who's a baby? Who's a big baby? Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Who's a big old monster? That's what I like to see. Now I'm going to roll him around this way. Face him. I'm going to look to my right and close this door and ask him to go off this way. Keep looking right. Find my center, drive that hip, ask him to pick it up a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Drive that hip. Now, what a beautiful mover that is. Man, if you ever wanted a black, shiny horse that just, short of a lifetime, this is it. This is a horse of a lifetime. I'm asking him to can. Good boy. Picked up the correct lead. Driving that hit. Looking ahead of him. He's got a nice flowing canter. Excellent. Excellent. Good boy. Relax. Look at that. I think trot one step. He's right there. We've got our communication down. I don't just train Mustangs. I don't just train, you know, rough little little rescue horses. These are beautiful Baroque horses. I've been training Baroque horses all my young life. I do a lot of them now. First full Frisian I've had in a little while. 
And man, what a difference it's making with this guy's mind. This groundwork and round pin, you cannot beat it. The exercises from the saddle, you cannot beat them. Now I'm asking him to walk. Because he's saying, when do I get to slow down? I'm going to say, in my back that isn't loose. And I gotta loosen it up. I may not know much, but if I find that muscle, then I slowed him down. Very good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little ride. See if I survive today. Let me get my rain set up right here. Now for him, he hasn't done a lot of this, so I'm not going to dilly-dally around with a lot of stuff. I'm just going to get this head stall on. Now, you see right here, this old boy, he got a big old head. Now, I'm going to ask him gently, see if he raises that head up. I want to get that head down first. Get my hands set up on this bit. Ask him to open his mouth. Good boy. Do not want that to get a big fight. Now I'm going to change hands, put that over that ear, put it over this ear, get him set up. That wasn't too bad. We've been working on that. Get him a little softer on getting that bit in his mouth. So he was kind of avoiding when we first started. Now, I just have a small diameter, like 3 8 inch diameter, Sweet iron, loose ring snaffle bit on him. If there's anything bigger, these guys will start to push him. Now, I think that saddle is tight enough. Now, sometimes I will stick this up underneath my shafts, but when I know I'm in an enclosed area and I ain't gonna be out on a trail falling off, I don't need to drag a Makati behind him. I'm going to tie my Makati up. Sometimes I'll hook it over the horn, but I like it right here up out of my way. And, you know, some people argue, well, that's not traditional or whatever. I don't care. There we go. Now, I'm going to ask him to bend pick up this rein and ask him to just bend that head back here. Very good. Boy, that's like butter. We've been working on that. That's like butter. I'm going to pick him up, bring him out past 10 o'clock, right there, without moving. I'm not even going to ask him to bend until he quits moving. There. Good boy. That was nice. Now, I've ground driven this guy probably four or five times and got him to be very soft on that bit. So I would much rather do that from the ground, and he tried barreling through it a couple times early on and figured out that that wasn't a good idea because I could bend him. Now I want to bring his nose past two o'clock right here and bend him back. Oh, that's like butter. Good boy. And notice he's not mouthing the bit right here, like butter. Good boy. Why don't I just get on and quit wasting time? I mean, I got a man up sometime, big old scary black horse. Let's see if I can bend him a hair and try to get my foot up in the stirrup. Oh my God. Now he moved. Now that shows me an issue where we got to work on. Well, that was quite an issue. So he obviously hasn't been ridden in a little while. So I can't ride him if I can't get on him. Let's set this right down here. Let's see if I can just get him to where he'll take some weight in that stirrup. Because honestly, if I can't ride him, if I can't mount him without him moving, let's get him where he can handle me 
right here. Good boy. Good boy. Let's bring him up here. Good boy. Let's get him right here. Now step. Don't let him move. Step. Just stand here and let him see me up higher. I've worked him off the fence and he didn't have much of a problem. But this is a whole new deal now. So we may not ride today. We may just work on letting me get up in the saddle. He's a little scared. He's going, oh my goodness. No, I don't want to get up there and wrestle with this guy. I want his confidence up. Good boy. Let's take it one step at a time. Let's get him back up where he's comfortable with me next time. Good boy. We'll set this step in place. I'm going to rub him. Good boy. See, he likes to get back, and I'm saying no. If I have to, I'll get my stick and my flag. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I want to bend him a little bit. No. You see, he likes to face you up. He wants to face me and say, What are you doing to me? I'm going to ask him to come forward. Good boy. Ugh. Good boy. See, he gets worried when I get up here. Let's just rub this saddle a little bit. Let's rub that saddle a little bit. Boy, what a nice young man. See, I don't know what happened to him first few times that somebody tried to mount him. You know, if they had anxiety, he could be feeding off their anxiety. Let's see if I can just bend him a little bit without moving. See, he wants to move that butt. Come on. See, I set a goal. If I can't achieve that goal, who cares? I may just have to reset my desires. Move up. Good boy. Good boy. I may just have to work that stirrup a little bit and move him and say, you're okay, son. You're okay. I might have to just get up here and rub him. And rub him on this offside. Good boy. You know, I don't want him moving. I want him just thinking about what's good here. He's sneaking back. And I'm going to say no. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm touch him behind that drive on and get him to step forward. Come on. Go forward. Good boy. Just that was good. He's going, I don't know about this stuff. Yeah. And he keeps wanting to face me. And I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep control of him. Okay, if he wants to move, I'm moving. I'm gonna rub him with this thing right here. I'm gonna rub him and say, hey, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. You're alright, son. Oh he moves, I'm gonna rub him. I'm gonna rub him right here. And say, that's alright, son. Good boy. I'm going to stand up on him. I'm going to get down. I'm going to rub him. Then I'm going to walk off for a second. Woo! There's a lot of work going on here. He's 
good boy. Let him get used to this. Ask him to come forward. Be nice. I should be riding this horse for about five minutes now. But you can't ride a horse you can't get on. Oh, holy. Whew. Good boy. That's a success. I had my weight. I could have thrown my leg over. Good boy. Good boy. See, I assumed, I made a horrible mistake. I assumed you could get on this horse. Well, I assumed wrong. You know what they say about assuming. It tests your bouncing ability. He's going, you know, I think I'm going to leave. Good boy. Good boy. Now, I'm going to see if I can't mount him up. Good boy, right there, good boy. Let's see if I can't get back up here. Rub him. Good boy. Let's see if I can't just rub him. Now I'll see, get back in that one to see me thing, in that eye, and I ask him to come back forward. What I do. He 
view is pretty tight when I got on it. Now I'm going to raise this rein a little bit, hold up that shoulder, and just walk in, put my right leg at his shoulder, take the left leg, and just guide him around in a circle here. Good boy. Now I'm going to bring my right leg back and my left leg forward, whoop, little, and push that left shoulder over a hair and send him to the left. Well, I'm already asking this horse to do some stuff. I'm going to ask him to give to my hands right there and walk him off. I'm walking this horse out on a loose rein and I want him just going where he wants to go. Kind of figuring out that he can go. And I'll pick up that rein and bend him walk him off. And I'll pick up this rein right here and I'll bump him a little bit with my leg right there and turn him. And I'll pick up the left rein and squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it and pick up the right rein. So right now I'm just getting him to be able to switch his reins back and forth. But during all, I feel his body is kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, there are no shoes here. I haven't dropped the first one, much less another one. I'm just telling him to walk in a circle. Very easy. I send him in circles all the time. Good boy. Bridge my reins and squeeze my hands and bump him into my hands a little bit. Oh. Oh, just get him to ask him to come off my hand, right there, and let him go. Good boy. Now this is real nice. I'm not going to make this a long ride today. Now I'm going to sit in my trot, because he might get silly, and if my butt's out of that saddle, we're in trouble. Stiff in his neck and his shoulder. Bend him a little bit. Bend him a little bit. Bend him and let him go. Bend him and let him go. Bend him and let him go. Bend him, bump him. Bend him and let him go. Squeeze and let him go. Squeeze and let him go. Squeeze and let him go. I'm moving that shoulder off my leg too. Circle. Good boy. And then I'm gonna. Bridge my reins here, wide, kind of like soften him up a little bit, let him go. Soften him up a little bit. I'm going to bend him right here. He's really hanging on me. Hanging on me. I'm going to bend him even more. He's hanging on me. I'm going to bump him off that left leg. He wants to stop. I'm going to say no. Just get off my rein. Good boy. There is a step. Let's walk forward. Let's ask him to drop in my hands. He did it. Let's rub him like a good boy. Let's pick him up. Now this guy has such a natural vertical flexion. Just to move forward into it, just a little bit. I'll just nudge him with my legs. Keep it calm. 
Nudging him. Now I'm going to sit down. There we go. And turn him here. Turn him here. Squeeze and let go. Squeeze and let go. Boy, bend him to the right. He's a lot better. Squeeze and let go. I'm going to shape up that shoulder and make sure he doesn't drive on that shoulder right there. Now, drive him forward here. Now, I'm not trying to ride this horse in any riding posture. I'm trying to get a training posture. You might see me really nudge this shoulder off my leg right here. Drive him forward. He's got to get moving forward. Saying, let go of my hands. There you go. Let go of my hands, I say. Let go. Let go. Let go and bend your head to a stop. Good boy. Bump him forward. He's doing real well. And for not having been ridden, I'm getting quite a bit out of him. Settle him in. Oh, that's just pretty. Good bull. Let him walk out on a loose rein. Good bull. Good boy. You know? Oh, turn him. Let him walk around a little bit. Just loose rein and rub him. Good bull. Any second I can pick up that rein. I want to look, turn my waist. Now I'm bending. See that neck's got to soften up. There we go. Soften up. Soften up. Soften up. Soften up. There you've got to start to get the hang. Good boy. Get the hang of it. There we go. Bump him right here. Bump him right here. Bump him right here. There we go. Look. I'm holding my right leg up there for a second. Hold that shoulder up, driving with my left leg. See if he can handle that. Yes. 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 Every movement I'm doing right here is going to make this horse a better dressage horse down the road. Now, I'm going to ask him to drop his head. See, I'm not putting it on my hands. He's thinking. He's thinking. I'm going to squeeze my hands here and bump him with my legs and wait for it and squeeze and wait for it. Now he gave me an inch, gave me a tiny bit. Good boy. And I'm going to ask him again. Come on, get your head down a little bit. Drop in. Oh, he thought about it. I let go. Bring my hands up and work it and squeeze and bump and bump and bump. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm going to bend him a little bit. There he gave to me. I'm going to let go. Good boy. I'm going to pick up my left rein. I'm going to squeeze and bump him with my legs. There he gave to me. I'm going to let go. I'm going to bump him with my left leg and say, Hey, bend your head around here. I know you can do it. That's the best he's done. Put my right leg on him. Bend him. Tell him, Hey, I want you over here. Hey, now we're talking. We're talking my sexy language here. That's just nice. Put my left leg on him. Tell him I'm going to bend him over here. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Slide my rein. Tip that nose. Put my weight over here. Oh, now we're talking. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, young man. You're a good boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is De Rossi's first ride, and I don't know how long. He learned something today. We got a little trot there. We'll pick up, 
I saw no point in pushing him out at the canter right now because I can feel his neck and his shoulders are too stiff. A couple rides in, I'll get a canter. You'll see a lot of horses that I've ridden for the first time, that I've started. This horse been ridden by other people. I don't want to fight what they did. I want to deal with what I'm putting into him. So if I pick him up and he bends right there, I can let him go. Later on, when I pick him up and ask him to canter, and if I pick him up and he says, I'll give you that, and I say, good boy, I know what I'm dealing with. If I pick him up and bump him and say, give me your head, and he's vertical, wait a minute, that's not good enough. I'm going to work that left, left bend right there. Get him straight. There we go. When do you start collection? Some people say, oh, two years down the road. I say baloney. If I don't have that head soft here and laterally, you're not going to get what you need to get out of your horse. And we take it easy on these young guys. But taking it easy means don't rip your brain through their daggum mouth. Look at my fingers. Now, I've ridden with a man lately in the last year several times. I'm riding with him again in June. World champion. Ranch Versatility, AQHA champion Mike Major, and I tell you what, um, man, he really helped me refine a few things about how to get softness. And I've got a, a clinic in June to ride with him again. I never quit learning. You don't quit learning. You watch my videos to learn. I'll show you the things that I learn. Every little bit of stuff helps. Then you find out what works, what doesn't work, what works with some different horses. I always work my program with my basics and fit it to the different horses. Now we're getting a horse to bend his head that wouldn't bend his head before. Because he's comfortable now with me up here. He knows I'm not going to kill him. Now, see, I don't yank that head back. I'm sitting here, I bring, take up the slack bring it back to my hip and say good bull and now I'm bumping with my left leg again and tell him hey I'm about to ask you to bend why don't you bend before I ask you there we go and then he comes okay time to dismount get my right foot out my toes in the stirrup on my left up and set down oh, oh he's a big baby I may not know much, but once in a while I get a good deal. I get lucky. Good boy. I could have forced getting on him, but I got a lot of work to do with my gray mare Isabella about that because she got so scared before I had her that that was a real issue. And it is an issue to get on her. Once I get up, I'm okay. Now I'm going to ask him to let me get off. Good boy. Ah, what a privilege to work with this horse. But it's a privilege for me to work with any of them. But man, you're going to see some cool stuff come out of this baby. Right, young man? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, enough.